everyone this is part three of our video tutorial for TOT number one and uh, we left off last time with uh, creating three layers or features in the form of polygon line and point and uh, we added also field or column uh, column fields for each of this layer and uh, we added also a value for its ID column. So let's look at it now again. So, uh, sorry for this one. Okay. So if we open the attribute table of uh, my poly, so we, we, all of this, we put a value of one because we're planning to add columns using Excel. So we'll do that now. So in this video tutorial, I will uh, uh, teach you how to join a spatial information like this tree through a non-spatial information using uh, MS Excel or from any spreadsheet application that can save the format into a comma delimited file. So let's fire up Excel then. So I have here in Excel, I actually have uh, uh, started doing this. So we'll call this the join file. So this is already saved as a comma delimited format. So if you save it, file save us. So I, I'll save this on my project file in my CSB and I'll name it csb join csb so it's a comma delimited format file of a spreadsheet i'll save it again so here uh, we added also a column we name it id and we have also we added this common columns or fields for the three layers so we will include their collector the name of the person who will collect the data from the field the type of the information or asset to be collected, the condition of that asset. I think we, we need to shorten this just to C O N D. And then maybe the owner of that particular asset. And then a description of that asset. And we're adding one more column that will allow the data collector to take photo of the asset that will be collected. So We'll save it and then we'll use this to join these columns, add these columns to the layers that we just created in during the last video tutorial. So I'll save it again and then close it. Okay, now you'll see that file is here, join CSP. So we add it on the layers. You can do this by double clicking this file or by dragging it down here so what I'll do is drag it okay I can drag it here so there you go you can also open the attribute table of this one just to check it open attribute table there it is so we'll add these columns to uh, the column of a uh, the one of the vector layers so you see this one is the column the attribute table of the my poly special data set it has only id and a date but it doesn't have this columns yet so we'll try to move these columns or add these columns to this one okay let's close them okay what you'll do is you open the properties of each of these layers by uh, clicking right click and selecting properties or just by simply double clicking them okay I'll double click on my poly this will open up the layer properties and then let's go to join one of the functions of uh, any GIS application is to join spatial and unspatial information so we'll add and then spatial data to be added to be joined to the spatial data here we can select 
the join so as you can see they have the same common uh, column or field id id and then we'll select here the the fields to be joined so that this join this csv file has the following columns so we'll just select uh, some columns that we need because we already have the id on this special data will not include id anymore so we'll select it and then for the prefix we don't need a prefix so we'll delete that one and then we'll click ok and then apply and then click ok again and when you open the attribute table of the my poly there you go it has this now it has the columns now but these columns are still temporarily attached to this particular data set so we need to export this to another shape file the reason why we put the one there because it's not yet the final data set we need to save it as a new uh, layer without the one okay for us to retain these columns okay we'll do that now close this one first so i'll export save feature as again we'll save it to the folder where we have the data sets here it is and then we'll call it my poly without the one save okay there you go and if you open the attribute table of this one there you go so all of this is permanently added to the columns of this special data set we'll repeat this for the other uh, data sets like my poly i uh, like the my line and then my point uh, uh, at this point i will uh, I stop i don't want to eat much of your time because the process is the same